Barith, Flan's gift is on its way to Meath. Very good. I, I was just preparing to leave for the coronation, though I now have a problem on my hands. What is it? Flan's poetess, Kira. She was here delivering a formal invitation, and now I do not know where she's gone. Do you think she's in trouble? No, I think she is amusing herself somewhere. Likely perusing Dublin's markets. We need her. The High Poetess is an important member of the King's Court. There cannot be a coronation without one. I will find her. Where should we meet? By Dublin's gates. I will ready the horses. That is the voice of a poetess, the standard is low in these lands. For the sake of our ears, shut your mouth! Sure, and you're an idiot. You are all the same. Grab the bitch! Faye, won't you let a caged bird sing? Shit. I'd hoped an audience of tone-deaf Danes might permit. Are you kidding? Hold her down! Wonder of wonders. How much trouble can I be in at once? Can't help you. This one comes with me. No, no, no! She will answer for this insult! Can't change your mind? <laughs> you owe me. Gore himself! <laughs> On your feet, poetess. Malian, everything is spinning. A cold bath will remedy this quickly. What was that for? 
flush the ale from you. If you think I'm going to lug you to Tara, you're mistaken. Tara? Wait, who are you? Bardit sent me to collect you. He's waiting at the stables. Ah, an envoy. Tell me, how much coin would an envoy be wanting to speak nothing of this brawl to Bardit? He'll tie a guard to my hip the next time I'm in Dublin. A man can be so sensitive sometimes, do you know what I mean? I do. Bardit is my family. <clears throat> well then, I think my mouth has gotten me in enough trouble today. Try opening it less. Works for me. Shall we? Barath has never spoken of you. What name do you bear? Eivor. I hail from Norway, now settled in England with the rest of my clan. A clan, eh? Are they all fist thumpers like you? It is because of these fists you live to sing another day, Bortis. So true. Bardith! I was beginning to worry. What took? There was... trouble. Ara, no need to be so tense. Shall we ride for Tara? We don't want to be late for the coronation. After you. I was surprised to meet a member of your family, Boris. Eivor tells me he's come from England. Yes. Eivor is helping to establish trade in Dublin, secure valuable resources with faraway lands. In time, Dublin will become the heart of Ireland's trade, one that each and every kingdom can benefit from. That will no doubt please the future High King. Yes, well, above trade, I am hoping Flan can see Dublin as a friend and ally. You and many others. A relationship with Barith would be one worth fostering. It would be foolish of your king to ignore it. It appears Eivor is not abreast with our kingly history, Boris. We were hoping to have a meeting with Flan. My wish is to strengthen our ties. Can you see it done? Perhaps. We will see how the evening goes. Quite the event, hmm? Spared no expense, that much is clear. Ara, my lady, one of the priests has gone missing. A violent mess is left of his tent. I fear something terrible has happened. Missing? Are you sure? Could be nothing. Could mean danger. Where's Flan? He's not yet arrived. That gives us some time. Kira, act as if nothing were amiss. Barrett and I will look into it. Where is this tent? Up the hill, to the left. Be careful. There was a fight here. It is the eve of the coronation and already trouble brews. Keep your wits and stay close. We do not know anything yet. Wishing be resident! Flay on! 
The blood stops here. Where do these cart tracks lead? This story is like to have a poor ending. I fear so, cousin. On such a momentous day as well, Flon's coronation may not be as hoped. Looks like they hit a snag. Recognize him? That is Senan, the priest. Bastard stripped him of his clothes. That camp up there, what is it? Anachdu is no camp, though it appears someone has made it into one. Let's go. What do you think? The priest was kidnapped. They took his clothes. I believe whoever did this means to wear them. A disguise? We'll soon find out. Such a... Sent to kill Flon. The letter is unsigned. An unknown enemy. Come. We must bring news of this to Kira. I'm with you. You handled yourself well, Eivor. I have to say, you really are no stranger to these sorts of encounters. You did not do so bad yourself. Aye, we stopped the death of a king this day. If only we knew who was behind it. No idea who would go to such lengths. You can take your pick of the Northern E Nail Kings, though it is the kings of Ulster who particularly dislike Flon. Different king, same story.
Any story? The priest is dead, and so too are his killers. Bandits. I found this. It's an order to kill Flan. One of them was to disguise himself as a priest. Cut Flan's throat during the coronation. Right under our noses. Why take the risk? Why not poison? Or striking at him in his sleep? Poison can fail. And to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle. But your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation. I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well. I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah Fall, a sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations alone. Where's the food? You have not changed. I'm here. I may as well enjoy myself. And with that, Flan's enemies multiply. This warring of dynasties runs deep. If he is a smart king, he will be eager for allies. 
Smart he is, but also impassioned. His plan to subdue the North is not driven by power so much as it is bloodlust. Back there on our ride from Dublin, Kira made it seem there was more to you and Flan. What am I missing? A uh, detail. A large detail. You see, the northern king who crowned me, Ed Findlia, he murdered Flan's father and took his place as high king. Then, as is custom, he married Flan's mother. Safe to say there's no love lost between you. None. To Flan, Ed was a venomous snake, and so too are the ones he favored. Winning his trust will be no simple task. We just thwarted an attempt on his life. That should at least perk his ears up. Let us hope. I will leave immediately for Duro. Meet me there as soon as you can. His bairn shall the bring on my spitches, Mary. Where's where? We said they were not a shamrasta. That's all stolen overmood. It's the truth they see of the fear thing yet. Much to gain from this as we do. <clears throat> 
Barris. We welcome you to Doro. It has been a long time. Thank you for meeting with me, Lord. I trust our gift was well received. Exotic spices, all of which are foreign to me. I am impressed. Only a taste of things to come. Dublin will soon be known as the pillar of Ireland's trade. To a long life and prosperous reign, my king. Such fealty. <laughs> you honor me. You must be Eivor. My gratitude for your selfless actions and what preceded my coronation. Lord. It seems my enemies could not wait for my reign to begin before trying to put an end to it. An old tale between Northern and Southern e Nail, I'm afraid. But it's one whose ending I will be the author of. Planning a war? A high king should have control over his land. And I shall. If it takes a bloody war, I must be prepared for it. Dublin's trade has plenty to offer and plenty of stout fighters, Eivor included, ready to fight alongside you. I appreciate your desire to strengthen the ties between Meath and Dublin. And as much as I find myself in need of aid, it appears you find yourself undermined by your own people. What do you mean? During the coronation, a monastery was raided and a Christian text was lost. The Book of Kells. Dublin Danes are to blame. Your support would be of great help, let me be clear. But this capriciousness will sooner harm me than help me. I take it the book is important. Authored by monks from the monastery of Iona some 80 years ago it was. After the Danes first reached our shores. It was meant to preserve the Christian faith in uncertain times. Today it is a symbol of that perseverance. If I retrieve the book, set straight the ones who did this, would you welcome Bardith into your court? It would help. These Danes, you know where they are? In a bog in Inch Row, just north of here. Eivor, this is my responsibility. Remain here. I will see it done. not be seen in this area. You 
will feed the crows! Confirms the lawn's information. The book should be here somewhere.
It's you. It's you. <sighs> Thought we told you to leave, Thorstein. Ah, uh, uh, leave Dublin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> this is not Dublin. You did not understand you were not to be seen again. Oh, come now. How was I to know you would find your way out here? Why are you here? Looking for a book you stole. You raided the monastery recently. Oh, it was several monasteries, actually. These new friends of mine do not tire easily. The book is important to the Christians. I need it back. The Christians? Ha! <laughs> See? You are an Irish lapdog. <laughs> I... I, I do not have it. Are you upset? <laughs> Please do not be upset. <sighs> you are upset, uh... I am running out of reasons to let you live. Uh, I know where it is. Boing tombs. Some strange folks offered me this hoard for it. I could not resist. Could you? See? You understand. We are very alike, you and I. I could just as well be your brother. I... Do not kill me. Thorstein, your blood is not worthy of my steel. I could not agree more. Now vanish. I mean it this time. A third encounter you will not walk away from. Oh, I am true with Ireland. My ankles ache for how I must dance around all of these kings. It offers nothing. Except for this. I will just take this. And this. <laughs> Thorstein said I would find the Book of Kells here. Locked.
A visit from my... Thanks to your efforts, the jewels and ivory from Port Ali now grace our stocks. Is there anything you... The list is long. I find... I always... In we'll close the books on that. Another time. Why, hello, Eivor. New co Very well. I always enjoy the dance. Enough for today. I look.
Have you found it? Its popularity is ever increasing. This is Owen, Abbot of Armagh. The book is for him. I remember. From the coronation. I pray you did not have to endure much to reclaim this. A small price to ensure the High King's patronage. What's this? Lord, you are chosen High King by God Almighty. These are pagans. I, I mean no disrespect. We Norse have hardened shells, Abbot. That is why we are liked by so many. I only mean to warn Flan of the possible implications. Nothing more. And I am well aware of them, Abbot. I have spoken past what is right. I will take my leave. Lord, please excuse this clumsy intrusion. No need. I am glad to see the book is back in good hands. He is colorful. I do not blame the abbot for raising alarm. History dictates he has every reason to. What is your report? I have dealt with the leader in the bark. You will have no more problems coming out of Dublin. Then we shall turn our eyes to the problem at hand. Ulster is using its power to sway Connacht. An allegiance that must be snuffed before it takes flame. For that, we need to gain support from the other kingdoms. Speak with Kira. She will guide you in this. I shall return to Dublin to gather men and resources for the march. I welcome them. When we are strong enough, we will meet at Knock Free and devise a strategy. You were gone some time. What happened? The book was in the hands of a strange cult. They procured it from Thorstein. I was weak to spare him. My own son knew better. Chin up, Barif. We have come into favor with the High King. I will feel better the day Flan's trust in me is not shadowed by doubt. Back to Dublin I go. Talk to Kira. We must gain favor with the other kings, quickly. I am glad to see you. I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse you can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Is he the only one? <laughs> You're not shy, are you? Just perceptive. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favour, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon coops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster.
glacier can offer the grand route to Stoker. Don't talk for in mock.